Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be talking about Gallery Girls. Do you guys remember this show? Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was a one season wonder. I don't know why they didn't continue with it. It's a cult classic. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that's awful but wonderful and we didn't know what we had. And I remember watching it back in the day and... I'm watching it again and it's kind of blowing my mind, so I cannot wait to get into it. For rewatch purposes, I downloaded this from Amazon Prime, that Amazon Instant, the streaming service. Uh, I think the first the season was like $12, something like that. But I have heard that you can find pieces of it on YouTube, so if you don't want to spend any money, look for it on YouTube. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I just want to take a second and say if you're enjoying this show, please check out my Patreon. Go to patreon.com, search Real Housewives Recaps, or check the comments below and I'll put a link. And for a dollar a week, you can support my show and get four bonus episodes per month. I'm covering Scary Island, like the greatest season of Real Housewives in New York. So check it out. Thanks so much. So we're going to break down the the cast of characters here, and I do call them characters. Um, we're going to talk about each one because it's a little confusing to keep them straight, truthfully. They each have their own storyline. There's seven of them, but there's actually an eighth one, uh, Lauren, who they don't give credit to, but who is a partner in one of the shops. So we'll talk about her too. We're going to talk about them all. So I'm going to try to break it down for you so that way if you haven't seen it, you can tell who's who's, and if you have, you'll remember who's who's. So let's get into that. So this is Angela. Angela does some modeling. Both her parents are doctors. They cut her off after college because she didn't want to become a doctor or a lawyer. She models. She waitresses. She really wants to be a photographer. She loves men. She's obsessed with them. She says it herself. And she lives in Brooklyn. This is Chantal. And can I just tell you now, she's my obsession. She's 24 years old. She lives in Brooklyn. She thinks she is the greatest thing ever. It's the most hilarious thing. She's part owner in End of Century. She partly owns it with Claudia as well as Laura, who they don't show. Um, she has the funniest one-liners sometimes, but she doesn't try to be funny. And shes I think she's the breakout star of the show. Amy might be the most annoying one on the show. She has a father who totally supports her. She lives rent free. I believe in one of the episodes, if I remember correctly, she says she likes to go get her hair done like four times a week, something like that, because she doesn't have to pay for it. Um, she interns and she lives on the Upper East Side. This becomes a huge plot point that she lives on the Upper East Side, but um, she has Kim Zolciak hair, so there's that. So then there's Claudia, also 24 years old, lives in Brooklyn. She's friends with Chantal. Again, she owns, part owns End of Century, a gallery with Chantal and the mysterious Lauren. And she interned for Gagosi and realized she'd rather open her own place. She's a waitress at night. This poor girl becomes so stressed out, understandably so, and we're going to talk about that she pretty much has a nervous breakdown. We're going to get into it. This is Maggie. Maggie might have the most inflated sense of self besides Chantal. She just thinks she's the greatest thing ever, and it's kind of funny to watch. The way she carries herself is very interesting. She explains that her grandfather and father set up a trust for her. That's how she's able to set up a gallery. Uh, yeah, she's been interning at this Eli Klein place, and... There's a whole weird dynamic there that we'll get into, so that's Maggie. So this is Carrie. She grew up on Long Island. She always dreamed of living in Manhattan. She grew up in a middle-class family. Both parents have several jobs, so they're unable to support her. Uh, Carrie probably has the best work ethic of anybody on the show. She works as a lifestyle manager, basically a concierge to really rich people. She traveled a lot in college and and discovered art and really fell in love with it so she wants to mix in her love of art so that's that's where she's at and and I actually like Carrie and this is Liz Liz is a student at School of Visual Arts she lives in Gramercy she also is working at the Elaine Klein 
I never said it right, Eli Klein Gallery. Um, she basically took the internship that Maggie abandoned. We'll get into that. Her dad is worth millions. He collects Warhol, Picassos, all kinds of stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's Liz. She wears as a badge of honor that she's from Orange County. So, that's Liz. So, the episode starts out in the meatpacking district at Milk Studios. So, we're seeing Angela doing her modeling. Right off the bat, she's showing boobs like she's not afraid of anything. She's flirting with this weird photographer, and believe me, he'll be in this episode later. But um, <laughs> she's just very flirty, very fearless, just out there. And she's, her style is interesting, so we'll get into that as well. This show did a lot of interstitials like this where we see maps of where everybody lives, and we cut between people with these maps. It's kind of strange. So we see Carrie moving into her new place in Greenwich. Her mom is helping her. Again, she grew up on Long Island, so this is kind of a big deal that she's finally moved to Manhattan. She's super excited about it. Again, a weird cut between. I'm not going to keep showing these, but I want you to get the idea. Then we're at Amy's apartment. Oh, Amy. Amy is the one. She's FaceTiming her dad. She's not FaceTiming. She's talking on the phone to her dad in the bathtub. I find it a little odd for a 24-year-old, but... Uh, yeah, so she has a very charmed life because she's not paying for shit. <laughs> she wears it like a badge of honor. But, uh, yeah, this is Amy. So Amy's a mess. Amy, we'll get into it, but Amy likes to have some drinks and say some stuff. So this is Amy. She likes to get her hair done a lot. She's very excited about that. <laughs> so then we get the Lower East Side, end of century. This is my single obsession from the show is this gallery set up by Claudia, Chantal, and Lauren. End of century is like, end of century is this idea that came, that Claudia, Chantal, and Lauren came up with to sell clothing and jewelry along with the art. So Claudia is the one that is over the art side and she manages the store, whereas Chantal and Lauren, they handle the jewelry and the clothing side. This is Spencer, this is Chantal's boyfriend, he's barely in the show much of the interesting drama and just the behind the scenes, I mean, just so much happens at end of century. To me, they're some of my favorite scenes, so I love when they cut back there. It bears mentioning that they've known each other for about a year and decided to go into business together because that always works out really well. Uh, they live in Brooklyn, but they decide they needed to open in Manhattan. Again, great idea. Uh, so, so much goes on. I can't wait to get into here. So then we go over to Eli Klein Fine Art. I don't know why I trip over that, but I do. But uh, Liz is coming in. She's starting her internship there. So Liz, she is interesting because she, again, is advertising that her dad is worth millions and collects all this art. And she explains that Eli knows her dad as a well-known collector. So if he bosses her around, I'm going to get pissed and tell my dad. So yeah, that's a great work ethic right there. Great foot to start off on. Trying to get her to like fill holes and help spackle a little bit and she's not into it and basically tells him, yeah, I'm not into this. I won't be doing this anymore. Whoo, spoiled girl, this is gonna be rough. Then we go over to Chelsea at this gallery where Maggie's looking around and Maggie just has such a weird way of speaking. Uh, she's talking to her boyfriend here and looking at artists to set up her gallery and oh, Maggie she just is very very proud of herself and doesn't think she should have to internship or do anything for her internship or show up for her internship for that matter so that night Eli is having an art event he's selling this triptych for a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars Liz has shown up and invited her dad Again, who is a huge collector. And Maggie comes back. And she's explained that it's weird. Because she doesn't know if she still interns with Eli or not. Because she just kind of took off for a couple weeks. So, uh, then we see Amy meeting Liz. And it's the most awkward, cringy thing. Because Amy's not just saying, hey, it's nice to meet you. She's saying, you look fucking incredible gorgeous amazing isn't she amazing i mean just laying on so thick 
so we see the Brooklyn girls getting ready, and I call them that because they call themselves that, at the end of century. They're getting dressed to go to this Eli party, and <laughs> Maggie makes fun of them because they all wear black with red lipstick. So we see them all in black with red lipstick. Claudia puts on one of their dresses and immediately rips it. So she walks around with a huge hole in her dress all night. Um, they said that they're going to check out their competition, and they're taking Angela, their friend, with them. Maggie's making fun of them because she said they always have lipstick on their teeth, so that's kind of funny. And yeah, here they are, and they're black and they're red. So Liz introduces herself as a new intern, and Maggie is shocked, and she's not sure if she still has a place there. Liz is introducing herself to the Brooklyn girls, and they just are not feeling it at all. Angela kind of makes fun of her from being from the OC. Liz feels weird, walks off. They're laughing about it. They're the mean girls. Uh, Maggie and Eli have a very strange relationship, which we will get into next episode in detail. Uh, Liz and Maggie are kind of making friends because they'll both potentially be at the Eli place together. So let's talk about Chantal and my continuing obsession with her. So at this event, Eli asks Maggie to make everybody leave. So she does, but he has to select few out to dinner afterwards. So Chantal says, so I think I'm not going to go because I'd rather kill myself. Also, I'm trying to think about my image. Oh my God. <laughs> so full of herself. So the rest of them that aren't worried about their image or killing themselves are going out to dinner. So this is where we see Amy just drinking and drinking and everybody's annoyed with Amy. So she's already, this Liz, she doesn't even know. She's like, I'm effing inebriated and still kissing her ass. And it's, it's just so strange. Maggie's not interested in any of this and not having a good time. Then we go over to Angela. Angela is on a non-date with the photographer, David, that we met earlier. The photos are stunning, and she's saying, they're stunning. Who wouldn't want to sleep with me? She's attracted to David, but she won't call it a date. I think David is so goofy. He doesn't even bring money for the date. It's so weird. While we see the witches of Eastwick, I mean the Brooklyn girls, it's Chantal, Claudia, and Lauren, and it's, <laughs> oh, look at this outfit on Chantal. Okay, so Claudia is stressed. We're going to find out later it's about money. And Claudia gave them a $15,000 investment. So we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. Hold on with me here. Then we go over this art advisory, which I did not think about it being a thing. But apparently when you're super rich in New York, you can pay somebody like the Sharon lady to be your art advisor. She'll bid on artwork for you, advise you, and help set it up, I guess, get it into your house. I don't, it's crazy. Uh, so Amy interns there, and now we found out Carrie met Sharon at uh, the gallery event, and Sharon asked her if she wanted to come intern as well. So she and Amy will be sharing a desk. Meanwhile, Amy is not happy about it. But back to my obsession, Claudia. She's trying to talk to Chantal and Lauren about how much she's stressed, about how much they've spent. They won't even look at her. They're just on their phones. They're Blackberries. <laughs> uh, so they won't even acknowledge her or anything. So she's really upset. Her family's invested $15,000, which they are expected to be paid back. Chantal is protesting, saying, well, I put in $2,500 from my aunt. And Chantal's saying to camera, Claudia hasn't had to take care of herself and she's freaking out. I can't let her get to me because this is really important. Amy doesn't have much going on, so she likes to go get beauty treatments. So she's going to get eyelash extensions put in. So we see a whole freak out from her and she's very proud of herself in the end. Moving on. Then we go back over to Eli's place and he must pay Bravo for all this advertisement because they like to show that sign a lot. So Liz is there and she's sitting at the desk with Eli. So Maggie walks in to try to ask for her internship back. It's the most uncomfortable scene because they're barely speaking to each other. And Eli is just kind of a worm. I don't know. He just gives me the creepiest vibes. She doesn't know what to do with it. So she's barely talking. They kind of grunt at each other and decide maybe Monday she'll come back. Meanwhile, the girls at End of Century decide to throw a party because, you know, that's what you do when you're hemorrhaging money. They have live music. 
their art, their merchandise is out. So then we go over to Angela's apartment while she's getting dressed for this party. She said she wants to be slutty. She's going to be putting on pasties. She says she likes to dress high concept. We'll get into her outfits as well. So then we go back to the party. She meets that photographer there. He's so strange. She's so much better looking than he is. At least she has a personality. He doesn't seem to. Chantal is being Chantal. They're having this party. I just don't understand why they're not trying to sell things at this event. It just doesn't seem like they are. I guess they're just trying to show it to everybody. But wouldn't you be thinking about making money as fast as you can, especially while people are there? Liz and Maggie have decided to bring their boyfriends and go to the end of century opening. Nobody's happy about it. It's the strangest thing. They don't know whether to say hi or not. They do. It's awkward. The Brooklyn girls are kind of rude to them and they end up leaving. So nothing really happens there. We have Chantal saying, that upset me. They were weird. No, I think you were pretty weird too. The photographer leaves because, again, he's weird as well. And then we see them dancing, like not a care in the world. <laughs> so they're dancing and super excited, and Chantal is shit-faced. So we see her shit-canned at the end, and that's how the episode ends. We see the end of the party, and we get a glimpse into next... Actually, it's the rest of the season. We see some huge bids on art going on. Eli and Maggie have weird sexual tension that we'll get into. Uh, Amy gets completely wasted and is inappropriate in the bathroom and then is just being Amy. We see him go to Art Basel, which I'd never heard of until this show. And now I've heard of it, I think, on The Housewives they talk about it as well. So we see him get dressed up and go down there. Some uh, payment notices and some tears over at End of Century going on. All kinds of stuff I just can't wait to get into. You guys, this show is amazing. If you haven't watched it, jump on it. Watch it. <laughs> so much crazy stuff happens. I say it's amazing. The show is just okay, but some of the people are so crazy it makes it interesting. Uh, very delusional people. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. I'm so excited to be talking about it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Check out this show. Check out my other shows. I'm covering all kinds of stuff like Gilmore Girls and all the Real Housewives and Below Deck and Southern Charm and check them all out and let your friends know as well. I'm really trying to grow my channel. So thanks so much for watching. Leave me comments. I love the comments. I read them all. Also, you can find me on Twitter at Real Recaps, and I appreciate everything. Have a great day. Bye-bye.